Mr. Speaker, team proposition does not live in a pink and fluffy world. We want this debate to be settled in the world in which the harsh truth is accepted. And that is that a large, a huge amount of sportsmen use steroids, use legally permitted drugs, but not permitted in sports. A study in the last number of The Economist tells us that over 65% of the people from cyclism use drugs and a large amount of the rest of the people that in that sport are caught that used by using this kinds of drugs, but are not that important tested, so they're not banned. But the real thing is a large amount of uh, sportsmen do it. The winners do it. Asafa Powell, Lance Armstrong, they're all that kind of models, they're all that kind of guys that were caught using this kind of thing. When, and what we see is that the kids started to go cycling, started running because they were their idols. They did not quit cycling or sport because they saw that those guys were took drugs. They only started because they were important persons. Now, what we see that in this moment, nothing happens because all the single persons that are caught, some of them are retired people, some that they only do it for the eyes of the society. And secondly, we see that the rest of the people are just banned for one or two years. Nothing really happens because the sport, it's an industry and they really want to continue in this way. Furthermore, we say that those kinds of drugs are legal in the state. There are drugs that do not affect in a harmful way the, the health of that sportsman. They're just things that enhance the performance. They're not like cocaine. They're not like uh, heroin. They're things like paracetamol that was banned at the Sydney 2000s Olympics, and it's only used to get rid of the flu. Team, up, team proposition will have today three main arguments. I'm going to talk about ethics and secondly about the impact on the sports industry. And uh, thirdly, my colleague will talk about the natural flow and how this is the thing that it it's really natural. Now, firstly, on the point of ethics. Now, what we see is that sports, it's not anymore a simple competition between human bodies. It's not anymore that kind of thing that was one century ago. A match in, the, uh, in the front of your house is not considered the real sport today. What we say by sport is those matches that are played at the World Cup are those matches played by Mike Tyson with 40,000 people watching. This is what we, mean by, what we mean by sports today. What we see is that everyone uses enhancements. We, may, we may talk about mechanical ones. We may talk about the food. The food that the guys from Sky Team use make them three times more performant. They were three times more performed because of the food. Everything that we use in sports is an enhancement. Now, what we say is that because of we use this kind of enhancement, we support today that every kind of enhancement should be legal, should be okay. Furthermore, we see that this promotes inequality because if you look at the guy from Swaziland and at the guy from the USA, the guy from the Swaziland does not benefit from the same preparation. There, there is inequality per se. There is inequality because the guys from the USA are the ones that are prepared formally, have a team in, behind them that trains them. This is what we say, there is inequality with or without this kind of drugs. But in the moment in which these drugs become legal, you may choose to be the equal of that guy and this will furthermore promote sport. This will furthermore promote performance and this is one very important thing. Fi uh, secondly, we say that it promotes equality of choice because in the moment you want to become a sportsman, that's in the moment in which you must know that the sport, the sport is an industry in which drugs are a thing that happen. If you are against this kind of practice, you have two options. Firstly, to be a not so good professional sportsman or not to become a sportsman sportsmen at all. But the guys from the top, the guys that are breaking records day by day, they're the guys that take these kinds of drugs. Because 15 years ago, you, we were running 100 meters in 10 seconds. Now we have 9 seconds, 54. That's not because humans become better and better per se. That's because we have enhancements and people love enhancements. People love to view these kinds of important sports. People love to watch entertainment. And this leads me to my second argument, which is impact. Now, I'm going to talk about the fact that sports is an industry. As I talked before, it's not about the guy that plays football in the, in the kindergarten. It's about a guy like Kobe Bryant who gets over $20 million a year for just playing basketball. That's what we mean by sport, an industry. And what an industry means, it's money. And money is the core of sports today. This, we don't live in a dream world. Money is real. Money is quantifiable. 
What we say is that we really want this industry. We, as viewers, don't like to watch amateur league football matches. We really want and we like to watch Champions League. We like to watch Olympics. We like to watch the best competitions. We like to watch Tour de France, even if this kind of competition are the one in which the most people are get caught for using drugs. Because we want entertainment. And what will happen in the moment in which you make these things legally? But, well, it's kind of obvious that be, be, uh, oh, you have equality, as I stated before, and the industry will grow. The industry will grow because you have more and more professional sportsmen. You have sportsmen that are better than they were before. The top will remain the top, but the guys from the middle side of sports, they'll become better. And that, what, that's what and we, we say that that's the moment in which you may watch any competition and you'll see a good performance, you'll see entertainment at every hour, and the industry will grow. If the industry grows, the amount, amount of money that goes from that industry will grow also. What does this mean? that the industry gets bigger, that we have benefits for the state because we have taxes, we have people that watch television more, we have a huge amount of money because an important part of the GDP of these countries are part of the taxes that from pay-per-view of the events in sports and in the moment the industry grows, the welfare of the state, the amount of money produced by the state and that the state has possession grows. Now, we say that also at the impact, we will make corruption go down. What we see is that in the 2000 Sydney Summer Olympics, Andrea Raducanu from Romania won the golden medal at gymnast, uh, gymnastics, and she was, uh, her medal was taken away from her because she used paracetamol. Two years uh, more in 2002, paracetamol was legal at the competitions. We see that drugs become more and more legal because people from this industry understand they're a natural way of the society. This is a normal thing to happen. It's about development. We see that in the moment in which corruption will go down because w w what will you want to hide? What will you want to punish? Nothing. You have nothing to punish. And furthermore, we say uh, that you won't just make a sportsman suffer and two years, for, uh, two years uh, after this, you'll say, okay, we're sorry for that we're, we screwed you. Now, it's really okay to do what, what you're doing. Now, what we're saying also is that other people will become more and more connected. This will promote sport. As I said, people like kids, they're not interested. They do not know if you're taking drugs. The only thing that kids and children know is if, if you're performing well. And in the moment in which you're performing well, more kids will become sports. Sportsmen, sports will be encouraged and will assure our future. That's why at the end of the day, Team Proposition told you the harsh truth. We told you that this thing happens, this thing, because it's not legal, leads to corruption, leads to bad things happening to the sportsmen and to the society. By making it legally, we promote freedom of choice, equality, and we go get some money for the state for all these reasons I beg you to, to propose. Proposition, the proposition side tries to make performance enhancement drugs legal and free. But the problem starts here, in our opinion. The drugs may be, uh, f uh, may be legal in the future, but in the old competition, do these sporters, sportmen, gar give a guarantee to us that he won't use, he wouldn't use the drugs? Do they, didn't they say, I won't use drugs, I won't, uh, I, I joined the race? is same as the others and they use the, these drugs ladies and gentlemen so we think they are seriously guilty they are evil person therefore we should punish him we should punish them the, the problem that proposition side can understand is 
here they, these days. I'm gonna, so I'm going to talk about two things today. I'm going to talk about the uh, the justice and the principle of the justice and when we punish, why we punish. I'm going to talk about this. And secondly, I'm going to talk about the rehabilitation of the guilty person. Ladies and gentlemen, first, let me start. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm going to create a case. Uh, in this case, uh, I mean, Asafa Pavel join a competition in Olympic Games. He gonna run. And he says us, I, I won't use drugs. I won't use any illegal any illegal drugs. And after after the competition, we learned that he he used drugs. We learned that he is a guilty person, and we punished him. Right? We punished him for I'm for example three years. And here, what did he do uh, in reality? He stole the, he stole the happiness of the other person. He stole the happiness of the other person. He became First, he became champion, but he didn't deserve this, ladies and gentlemen, because he did he didn't say us that he would uh, use these drugs, ladies and gentlemen, not now. And also, uh, he stole reputation, he stole money. For example, uh, it must be another person who threw this uh, small beard to fans. It must be another person who who has an, an, an interview after being champion. Even if they might say us, uh, we, we recompense its uh, harm, we give, gave him back its, his medal, we gave him back his money, but ladies and gentlemen, we think that it's not enough. Yes, even, if, even if we recompense victims' harm, for example, give him cup, give him uh, medal, these people are evil, ladies and gentlemen. These people are did something bad, ladies and gentlemen. And we, we think, we think, not now, we think they have to be, uh, they need a rehabilitation, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, for example, he need to be three years uh, far away from Olympic Games, other competitions, and he thinks, ladies and gentlemen, he thinks that, and he, uh, he regret, ladies and gentlemen, he say to yourself that, uh, himself that, I did something wrong, I, I won't repeat it again in the future. I'm a, I am an, I was an evil person, but I I have a rehabilitation right now. I won't repeat it again. That's that's the reason why we punish uh, as a state, ladies and gentlemen. And and we believe that people are like Chinese cu culture, yin and yang. They they contain yin and yang. There are two sides unseen in the people, the bad side and the good side, ladies and gentlemen. Till a people become guilty, till a people commit a crime, we don't see his bad side, his evil side. And we accept, we consider him as a completely good person. We do not punish him. But when he did something bad, when did become guilty, we saw his, his bad side. We saw his evil side. And this evil side should be destroyed. This evil side should be disappeared, ladies and gentlemen. Therefore, we punish him and he become three years far away from Olympic Games, far away from another comp competitions, and we are at at, uh, at the end of the this uh, this uh, at the end of this time, we are sure that he won't repeat it again, probably. But in some cases, that won't be like that. But we think that's not such an important thing, ladies and gentlemen. For example, in television, he watched Olympic Games and he. He thinks that why I am not here because I, I am an evil person. I, I stole something from other person. I guarantee, but I lie, ladies and gentlemen. I am an evil. I didn't do what I did say become before, ladies and gentlemen. Therefore, we, therefore, in, in five seconds. Therefore, we need to uh, not pardon them, and they they be re rehab they be rehabilitated at the end of the time. My my friend gonna talk about why we fight, uh, why we don't uh, let them make them legal because the uh, philosophy of sport, the logic of sport doesn't let it. Chatai gonna talk about it later. So, and also, ladies and gentlemen, they told us that these drugs are uh, 
healthy. These drugs are doesn't contain any harm to users. We doesn't we don't agree with this, ladies and gentlemen. These these drugs are these drugs are not nature, ladies and nature, ladies and gentlemen. They produced in laboratory. They use ch chemical uh, some chemical for produce them. Therefore, it's not for the human body. For some drugs, I mean. And what does it cause? It causes uh, some problems of health. For for example, nerve system, cardiology problems, prob problems, and maybe the users of these drugs die early. They they can't live a meaningful life because their body doesn't let them live live life like an like another person, which is healthy. Therefore, is an We we don't think as as they consider drugs are. Uh, completely healthy drugs has no harm to users we don't agree with this what did i told you today what did i tell you today i'm going to talk about it i'm going to replay uh, i told you that these people are th these people didn't do what did they what they did say and therefore they are thief they stole something they should be punished and secondly i'm i'm going to i i talked about that these people are uh, need to re a rehabilitation for uh, the bad side, I mean, uh, disappear, ladies and gentlemen. Therefore, we think we are right and uh, no drugs gonna be legal today. Thanks. Thank you very much. Okay, so my speech will be divided in two main points. First of all, I will talk about what each team had to prove today and how the motion should have been interpreted. And secondly, I will talk about uh, my own case and I will bring my own substantive matter. But first of all, let's start with the first point. Let me, let me explain how uh, pardoning these sportsmen actually means legalizing. In the moment in which a sportsman will be caught using drug uh, uh, performance enhancement drugs, it will, he will be pardoned, meaning that he will not be punished in any single way. Actually, every single sportsman that will use performance enhancing drugs will suffer the very same treatment, meaning that on a large scale, every single sport, sportsman is allowed, basically, to use these uh, infor uh, enforcement um, measures. So basically, we are legalizing today this kind of drugs. Moreover, we agree with the, the opposition team in, um, in the matter of punishment, because we agree that before legalizing, before the legalizing, until now, it was right to punish the sportsmen that were committing this crime, because it was a crime. But starting now, we propose that this should not be a crime. We propose that this should be legal. Drug in haste, uh, performance enhancement drugs should become le legal. The motion today is not whether to punish or not the guys using this kind of drugs, but rather whether it should be legal or not for sportsmen to do this thing. So basically, this is what we should be talking about. And the opposition team didn't have any kind of substantive matter, any kind of proof, any kind of logical mechanism or, or example uh, saying in which way it would be wrong to legalize these kind of things. The only thing that the oppo opposition 
the first speaker of the opposition uh, said was the safety problems because we shouldn't use these kind of drugs because we could have some safety problems. Well, we are saying that in World Schools debate, every single theme and every single argument starts from the principle that the state wants to do good things for its citizens. We cannot start from the idea that the state wants to do bad things to its citizens. So as long as some substances are legal in pharmacies for me and you to, to consume, we think that they do not have a really bad impact on safety and on our health. So basically this only issue that the opposition team raised is not really a, a true issue and does not stand in, in the face of legalizing this kind of drugs. So this was, uh, this was the first point of my speech. I will now go to my own case. First of all, I will bring my own argument, and secondly, I will, I will make a conclusion. So my own argument will be called the na natural flow. What, no thank you, sir. Uh, what you, I want to say uh, about this is that ever since the Romans were, held, were holding fights in the Colosseum, there was inequality be between sportsmen. Some of them had better armor. Some of them had better nutrition. Some of them had better funding. They were in unequal. There was never an equal competition. Inequality exists and will exist whether we approve this motion or not. But through approving this motion, inequality will fade down because right now, almost all top sportsmen use performance enhancing drugs and they are caught using it. We have, just in a second, uh, we have various examples as we've already stated from Asafa Powell to, uh, to uh, other guys. So we think that inequality will surely go down because of this. Please. Actually, I don't understand how you will equalize the sportsmen in, for example, in Turkey and in American sportsmen. And American sportsmen will, will use uh, two HIV drugs, performance and HIV drugs. Uh, the idea is that this motion, thank you, this motion will apply it wor worldwide. So every single uh, sportsman from every single team will have the exact same capacity. Every team will have the exact same legal substances to use, substances to use, and we think that this is a good thing. So going back to the analogy with the Romans, sportsmen were never, never equal. And new methods kept appearing and were slowly accepted from new sportswear to better nutrition to other things and now through medicine. We do not see why medicine should be neglected because sports is no longer a, a contest between two bodies because if it were a contest between two bodies in the 100 meter race in the Olympics, Usain Bolt would be performing without any shoes because it's, well, it's just a, a competition between two bodies. But no, everyone has a, a, a very performant and a, a, a very performant sportswear, and this thing happens in every single sport, from box to baseball to basketball to football. We are evolving, and the methods we apply are evolving. We have slowly accepted new types of materials to use in our in our sportswear. We have slowly accepted new methods of improving our records and uh, so on and so forth. The thing that this uh, performance uh, enhancing drugs would do is nothing different. As we have accepted these old methods, we should be accepting this one, and this is the natural flow. It's the natural slap, step to follow, because the way we accepted every single thing will be the exact same way we will be uh, accepting in, uh, performance enhancing drugs. So basically, at the end of the day, we have a motion that the proposition team proved it's ethical, it has a positive impact on the industry, and moreover, would be the natural step to follow in the sports industry. So let's see uh, why uh, the proposition team should win this debate. At an ethical level, we have proved, proved not only that it would not cause any kind of problem, 
but moreover, that it would be a positive thing. The fact that you would tone down, that, you would, uh, that inequality would fade down using this method is exceptionally important. Because in, in, in the moment in which we tackle such an important thing in sports that has existed from the very first time, uh, f from the very beginning of sports, we are tackling a, um, a principle that was wrong all these years, inequality. And we think that we are tackling it in the right direction. Moreover, we believe that the impact on the industry will be extremely, extremely beneficial. First of all, because viewers like to watch high-level sports, like to watch high-level competitions, and this, uh, this kind of motion would basically enhance sportsmen to get better and better, so the high-level competition would be more often or maybe at a new, new level. So because of all these reasons, we believe that we've won this round. Thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to talk about firstly <coughs> the ethic of sport and uh, what is the sport, what's the meaning of sport for us. Uh, and secondly, I'm going to talk about the fans. And but before, but I have to do some rebuttal. Actually, we don't think uh, we don't we don't think that sports sports and the industry will have, will improve as I, as they said. For example, Juventus, che Juventus cheated on 2008. We, we know that. But after that, uh, you know that you, you know you know that too. Uh, Serie A Serie A leagues budget budget get got smaller down. Uh, uh, as the same for Fenerbahce. Fenerbahce, it's uh, it's uh, it's it's not proved uh, that uh, there was a judge. They, they are judging them to Fener Fenerbahce to cheat them. Actually. Actually, in this game, in this case, we think we think it's it's a uh, drug, drugs. Fener uh, Fener and industry Fener Bachers Fener Bachers budget get down. Actually, actually, we think that if we legalize the, we, we legalize the, uh, drugs, uh, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be happened as they said. Uh, the industry in the, the the industry will will improve, etc. They said us actually. Uh, pe people, people want, people want to see what's the, uh, wh what's the, wh 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 what's, what's the best, wh what is the best. But actually, we, we think that people wants to see something different. I'm gonna talk about that. Uh, no thanks. <coughs> uh, after that, <coughs> they, they said people gonna rob who ran uh, nine, nine, sec nine, nine seconds, uh, nine, nine seconds. Actually, we. We love Usain Bolt, you know. Why? Uh, because because he's, he's, he do, he doesn't use drugs. We know that. Uh, and ne, because we, uh, the, that for, for text, uh, we 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 know that his brain is uh, better better than us. His brain is transport his in energy their their crops. And and we think that he's better than a normal person. It's it's not a it's not get better better by with drugs. It's he's, he he get better. With his train, with his with his passion. So we actually because of this we love the same ball. Not 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 as they said. Uh, and they said actually uh, gonna they, they are gonna equalize the support melt. Uh, I did I didn't understand what, what we are going to what, what how can how can they they do? Uh, they 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 said me uh, they, they will they will have a uh, equal uh, they will uh, I don't know what they said actually. No thanks. Uh, let, let's let, let's get the arguments. Uh, firstly, <coughs> what's the sport? 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, how did the Olympic, Olympic Games start? It starts in ancient Greece, you know, where people just wanted to see who runs faster, who, tro who, tro who throws stones further, or who jumps higher, who, left, who lifts the biggest rock. Actually, in 2013, uh, it, in 2013, it still works that way. People just want to see who is the best, not who act the best, no, 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 no who wants to act the best. The goal of sport is uh, not, not, not as they said, uh, with drugs get, gets better. The goal of sport is actually uh, forcing the limits of human beings. The uh, forcing without drugs because uh, we, we think that if they use drugs, they make a, make an illusion for us. Yes. Why then then ban mechanic, mechanic enhancements, food, nutrition that helps the sport become better, sport can become better? Uh, actually, uh, uh, it's uh, it's 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 because of uh, technology, but it's it's not actually. I don't understand your question. My English level, but I, I'm sorry about that. <coughs> uh, after that, I'm, I'm continue. As I said, the goal of sport is forcing, for, forcing the limit limit of li, limit of human nature. But what's doing the enhancement enhancement drugs? It's it's actually create an illusion. We say these drugs can make can make you run use, uh, 100, 100 meters in in eight seconds. Can make you jump four meters, for example, uh, for, four meters for for example, which is actually. It, which is ac actually is impossible in our uh, with our bodies, but the, this uh, which is if we pardon these sportsmen, we think that they uh, actually it's not it's it's not gonna uh, it's not gonna they, they said uh, uh, as they said they, uh, it, it will imp it will improve the sports industry and and we people gonna going to love it. Uh, as uh, as you said, actually, in a lot of uh, a lot of sports, will not uh, sport will not be sport anymore. It, it will not it will it will not not not, not be the challenge of human limit, limits. It will be challenge of chemical uh, chem, chem, chemical dra drugs actually. Actually, I'm I'm uh, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor, or I'm not a medician. You know, uh, uh, the medicines or or the, these these ju ju judgment use uh, see see this is not affect the games. I think like the, like them. You know, uh, I can't. I uh, I don't know uh, if it, if it's if it's really uh, gets better the sp sportsman. If gets if it get, gets better. Uh, get better the sportsmen. No thanks. Uh, secondly, secondly, ladies, uh, ladies and ge uh, ladies and ge gentlemen, I'm going to talk about talk about the fans. <coughs> actually, uh, actually, <laughs> fans are uh, one of our big fans. Are, fans are our biggest part of sports. For example, uh, football is so important in Turkey. You know. Because people want to see footballers good movements, etc. But in Amer in America, football is not uh, as important as Turkey. Be because uh, uh, <coughs> because uh, people actually don't love don't love soccer. Uh, that <coughs> therefore, fans are. Uh, <coughs> uh, and act actually. <coughs> Think, think about that, and, and fans, and fans want, and fans want, to, want to see who he, who, 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 did, who didn't cheat, who didn't cheat it, who didn't, who, 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 who got, got the success, successful uh, with, <coughs> with, uh, with, with, his, with, with his passion, with his training. If uh, think about that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we, we think that if. If people know the same same boss get and uh, use and change the drugs, what's what's going to be happen? Actually, we think that people adore him. They see him like a god. Actually, they they buy they buy his glasses, his shirts, etc. First, our uh, first thing actually, the same boss became that famous. Thanks thanks for to, thanks for to them. They 
dating Usain Bolt used drug B we have understood all his success was a fake it makes us so angry think think Usain Bolt drugs after after this pardon he returned the games fans are not satisfied of punishment of the ball this situation make them more angry therefore they will lose their confidence on sports game they will be disappointed even they will not be uh, no more fans. Sports are going to lose their reputation. They, they, they are not go going to make sports anything to know. Uh, uh, it's not going, going to happen, as they said. Uh, uh, the industry of sports is not going to side of the house believe that kids do not love you same ball because he is clean they love him because he's a record breaker they love him because he shows us every day that well we can make new things better things and we can go further away with our human bodies and we have not heard anything on the side of the opposition to say why would this be actually a harmful thing and I'll today summarize my speech in three main points. First of all, first of all about equality and equity. Secondly, about the effect on the sportsman. Uh, and thirdly, about the industry and how it would develop. But first of all, equality. Well, we mainly said that, if, that nowadays we cannot do anything. Everything we tried to stop this uh, consumption did not work. And what we see is that every sportsman uses drugs even Usain Bolt that has been caught on minor tests to have been using drugs only these weren't the important ones to which he would have been seriously pen uh, um, penalized but what we actually see is that every sportsman uses everything he can to uh, to develop himself and what isn't nowadays correct is the fact that they shouldn't be allowed because one a uh, few of them get away, most of them get away with this, these things and, um, and, are, and this is inequality. That is why be, uh, we should try to, uh, to, to try to make things as equal as possible between them to offer them the, all the chances they need. Not only this, but we do not see a harm or a thing why we should uh, take the freedom of choice away from sportsmen just because they are professional sportsmen. Why should they be, uh, be uh, stopped from consuming any, type, any types of, uh, of medicine just because they are in this industry? And that is why we believe that if the state uh, actually uh, allows its people and its citizens to consume a type of medicine, we believe that its harms are not so big. And this brings, us, uh, brings me actually to the second point of my uh, speech, the effects on the sportsmen. And here, at this point, mainly, team opposition should have brought us serious harms for which um, the industry of sport and the sportsmen as a whole would be so affected by this motion that we shouldn't allow them and even maybe increase them uh, and maybe try to prevent them more. But we didn't hear anything. They didn't say us one point on why would this be bad. And what we told you is that we would actually uh, offer them equality. And not only this, but we would actually give them the chance to develop themselves and get better sportsmen. And so uh, to break new records and be better at what they do. Because that is what enhancement uh, uh, medicine do actually. They help them by a boom of proteins to have a, a better nutrition plan in their uh, and so develop their body help them to become a uh, better sportsman and better at what I, they are doing and what they choose to do with their lives and this is why we believe that we would have actually we would actually have better sportsmen and we and the sports quality will actually raise not on not only at the, at the top will we have uh, quality but we'll have quality at the medium level uh, actually not only the top uh, sportsmen but the average ones as well could offer us 
quality sports and would uh, and would be able to develop themselves so far that they could break new records and so uh, have a better impact on the society and give them the entertainment they want. And that is why we believe today that team opposition didn't uh, do it, didn't didn't take it, their burden seriously and didn't show us in any point why would this be bad for the sportsman. But moving on to the industry. Uh, we believe, as we said, that the, uh, if we legalize these, not only we will offer equal, equality between all sportsmen and it would be ethically more uh, better, um, but we believe that the entertainment would grow from the growth of the quality. And, this, and with the growth of entertainment, we believe that people may be more interested in sport. If they are more interested in sport, therefore, the income of the sports will grow and they will win more money. If this happens, we have a, we have a growing uh, a development both in sports and maybe in the research in this domain. We would actually be able to expand more as we see interest and, we, uh, and from that point, we would bring benefits both to the state from the income, but both in the development of uh, products and uh, medicine and uh, even equipment, because we would have a better interest in the domain. And so, we would, uh, from the plus to the state, we would actually turn that plus back to the citizen. And that is why mainly we believe that this would not only uh, equalize the chances of everybody to get to the to the highest of their uh, to the highest of their top, and will encourage them somehow to put more effort in what they are doing, and know that they will not be, and know that uh, they will be in a system in which they have the same chances and uh, uh, as everybody, and not some random test will decide. If, uh, if the ones next to them are or not uh, using, using more, uh, more to supply themselves and to develop themselves. And this is why, mainly, we have proven you these things which were not tackled by team opposition. And we believe that these are the main things why we have, uh, we have proven you that this motion would bring us only uh, benefits both from equality of chances, both on the, uh, the fact that it would actually help develop the sportsmen and not harm them at all. And we believe that maybe, um, maybe it would uh, increase the industry and pump it to uh, develop more and more, um, and more and more medicine. And we believe that the state from the beginning wouldn't have legalized these, uh, these products for the whole society if they wouldn't have, been, uh, wouldn't have been safe at the first place. That is why, finally, we believe we have attacked the main points that this motion ha has put us uh, up to, and the opposition team did not prove anything, only that maybe if in the past, if it would, uh, when it was illegal, people committed crimes, they were evil. Well, we accept that. Maybe when they committed that crimes, they were, they should have, ha they, uh, they were punished and that was a bad thing. But we're talking about now when it should be legalized and we should offer them the same chances as this do does not bring them any harm. Thank you very much. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I, I'm at the pro, pro, 
uh, I'm at the uh, side of the uh, position with my uh, first and second speaker told to uh, talk about things that uh, the drugs uh, shouldn't be uh, allowed in sports and the users of these drugs must be banned and must be just punished. Uh, and uh, first I'm going to talk about why it's illegal to use drugs. Uh, it's illegal because it makes you someone other than you are. Uh, it, it just allows you to perform uh, on an exceeding, uh, exceedingly high level than you are uh, and, and higher level than you can normally perform uh, and it makes the training unnecessary. People just can use drugs without training to be the best. Uh, uh, it's, it, just make, uh, it just takes the importance from the training and from the, uh, I mean, from the resistance to these trainings. Yes. What we see is that the majority of the world record breakers take enhancement drugs. What do you think about this? Uh, I was going to talk about this. Yes, and how can you prove this? Uh, I don't think that Usain Bolt using drugs, or I don't think that uh, Kobe Bryant uh, is using drugs, or I don't think that LeBron James is using drugs. And we all know that they're, they're not using drugs. Uh, thank you. Uh, and you then talked about the drugs which don't uh, affect the sports. Uh, uh, you said that they already use weed or uh, something, uh, heroin. Uh, which does not affect the sport, but that but that's not our subject. Uh, let them use it, okay? But it, uh, you cannot let them use it too. But it's not our subject. Uh, it's about uh, our uh, our subject. It's just uh, about performance enhan enhancement drugs. Uh, and you talked about that people eat different things, whether nutri not nutrition or worse nutrition. Uh, and they, you said that people use different shoes, different. Uh, clothes or something like that uh, and by saying this you just consider the drugs uh, and the nutrition uh, or the clothes as the same but uh, I already I already told you that the drugs and the nutrition uh, is not the same drugs make you on a high level it makes you fly uh, even if you don't have wings sure. or something like that. yes so why do you think that the world record breakers use enhancement equipment and nutrition uh, everybody uses enhancement uh, in uh, we, we I actually, I don't consider them as enhancement uh, things, enhancement uh, shoes, enhancement nutrition. They just, they just people needs. They, they, we need clothing. There are, there are, uh, there are main uh, needs. Uh, we just have to eat to survive. Uh, just have to, uh, have to have clothes. No, it, it's not. Uh, we just have to have clothes to not be naked. Uh, uh, okay, uh, and the nutritional shoes don't make you super like uh, enhancement uh, drugs. Uh, they are just necessities of sports, uh, and uh, you cannot do sports without them. But uh, what I'm going to say is, you can make sports uh, without drugs, uh, and by uh, legalizing these drugs and by making it all around uh, legal, uh, everybody using you're escaping this match. You're out of our motion because our motion is just to pardon. Uh, just to pardon drug users, it's not about legalizing every drug in sports. Uh, you are out of the motion, but I will still rebut you. Uh, um, and uh, you talk, you said that every enhancement should be okay in sports. Uh, okay, then I will use methamphetamine, which makes me uh, don't feel the fatigue. Okay, but at the end I die. No. No, uh, it, it just, it just, it's, it, it is an enhancement. Yes, it has a uh, performance enhancement drugs in some ways. Yes, but at the end, I die. No, you waste so many questions. No, uh, uh, and uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the fans. Uh, when kids see people uh, use uh, enhancement drugs and uh, see, uh, see them uh, having fake records. Fake, having fake this, no. Uh, they, they, I don't think they will be encouraged uh, for the sports. Uh, they will just be corrupted. Maybe they will do sports, but the sports will not be sports anymore. We already told you that the purpose of the sport. Uh, it's, uh, sports is just like uh, people want to see the other people doing their best, not doing their best with drugs or not doing fake things. It's not about this. Uh, uh, and you, you are in a, just a desperate need of uh, enabling the drugs, legalizing the drugs in sports. Uh, but I don't understand why do you need uh, to 
legalize them to win this match. And, uh, you have no good expa explanations. You just said it will just uh, make the sports industry better. People watch it. No, sit down. Uh, it will just make people watch sports or uh, in increase their uh, interest to sports. Uh, but it's not enough, I think. There's no good explanation. I, I'm, I'll come to that later too. Uh, and we also said that it's unhealthy to use performance enhancement drugs or drugs or normal drugs. It's always, uh, uh, always, today, even today, uh, the, uh, the sportsmen that you talked about, th that you talked about, uh, who broke records maybe, uh, maybe they used the performance uh, enhancement drugs, it's unhealthy. Every kind of enhan enhancement drugs are unhealthy and you're just making them, you're just legalizing uh, them uh, to use these uh, un no, unhealthy drugs. It's just like legalizing heroin or something like that. Uh, it's, it's out, it's make, it, make, it forces them out of their health. No. Uh, uh, and then you, you say that everybody in sports, when you enable it, will use it. Uh, but uh, we don't think so. People will be discouraged. Uh, of not showing their real talents, that really in the real world they can do real things. Uh, I don't think uh, they will be encouraged when they uh, do things above their level, uh, or uh, they do things uh, uh, like can animals do. Uh, no, I, I don't think so. No. Um, and and. People just are going to use drugs because everybody is doing it, not because it's right. We already told you uh, why it is not right. It is, it is uh, harmful, it is fake, uh, or something, uh, or things like that. Uh, and we also uh, told you that the legalizing the drugs, it's out of the nature of the sport. We talked about the history of the sport. It just, it just must be natural. Uh, it just uh, must be natural. People want to show uh, what they can do in the real life. Uh, and you, you just, I don't know, but you talk about Romans and their armaments and gladiators or something like that. Uh, but come on, we're not in Rome. Uh, we're, we're in a uh, uh, tired millennium. Uh, today, support is already equal. And uh, why do we have this need of implementing drugs in sports? Why do you need implementing them? Sports is already equal and uh, all, a lot of people love it. Uh, and you said the people uh, want to watch better performances. Yes, maybe they want to uh, watch better performers, but I don't think that they want to watch fake performances, that, uh, that uh, someone running like a cheetah or someone jumping like a kangaroo. No, we are humans. We don't, we don't need these uh, chemical things to, uh, to do something, to do sports, no. We, uh, we just we just want to do, we just want to do our best with, with training or with uh, with nutrition. Yes, not drugs. Uh, uh, I think that's it. Thank you. Today, the proposition side said us the industry, the sport industry, will get bigger. They, the most of sportsmen use these drugs in status quo, and we will get a high level competition. So, let's start. The industry will get bigger. They said, right? We think one industry will get bigger, but that was not the sport industry, maybe chemical industry. Because, as a gentleman, we think. In their world, the chemical uh, companies, the laboratories, works for the sportmen. Sportmen, they try to produce more and be better drug for the sportmen. Uh, broke a, another record, maybe. Therefore, we don't think the sport industry will get such such bigger. Chatai told us very well. The people don't want to see someone who cheating and who win 
a championship. They want to see what a human being can do in reality, ladies and gentlemen. Therefore, the, the sport industry will not get bigger. It will be the contradiction, in our opinion. They, they said that also, uh, the most of sportmen use the drugs, so let them free. We don't agree with them, ladies and gentlemen. In, in a word, think in a word that everyone kiss each other. Do, it, is it legitimate to make, keep, make killing legal because of most of people kill each other? Most of people kill, kiss, uh, use drugs. That means most of people are guilty. Most of people are, uh, should be. Most of people should be punished. Is that's not a reason for make it legitimate, make it legal. Therefore, they said we they want a high level competition. Is and gentlemen, the uh, the main idea of the proposition was, was that high level competition. I wonder if their goal is high level competition. Why do, don't they do? Don't they make? Uh, some drugs which are harmful legal. Why don't you make, uh, uh, I mean, very harmful drug for rich high level competition? They just said they are not such harmful drugs, so we make them, we make them uh, legal, we make them le legitimate. We don't think so, ladies and gentlemen. They said they, they are f favor their nature. Think, think, ladies and gentlemen, for a person who has a psychology problems, doc doctor gives him a medicine that contains the same material as another drug which people use for relax, for example. But the drug is still illegal, right? Because if people use it more, if people use it more and more, they get some healthy problems, right? Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, we don't think that these drugs are not uh, such safe drugs. For example, my body contains some adrenaline, right? In my, in my blood, blood, there is adrenaline. That's very natural. But if you give me more and more adrenaline, that, that make me unhealthy. That make me maybe that, that ladies and gentlemen. Therefore, if uh, the one, one drug which is natural is not safe every time. If people use it more and more for break, break, more and more record, record maybe, they get some healthy problems because of the drugs that they make free they make because of the drugs they make legal ladies and gentlemen therefore they they didn't uh, they didn't uh, they didn't say the amount of drugs which is legal right for example i can use uh, a natural drug uh, with my own body i can use it more and more with huge amount of drugs i can use and at the end of the day maybe i could die even it's a safe, safe material. If we use it more, we could die, ladies and gentlemen. But what did we saw? We said, we said justice, ladies and gentlemen. Someone who used drugs in a competition, like ladies and gentlemen, they didn't do what did he said, right? Because of this, he stole something from another person, from another people. Maybe another people could get, uh, could get champion, which uh, he really deserved, ladies and gentlemen. Even if you gave him the medal back, I said, even if you gave him money back, that's not enough because these people are evil. These people are, did something bad, ladies and gentlemen. Therefore, we have to punish him. We have to, we don't, we have to not pardon him. And he will, he will, ladies and gentlemen, regret at the end of the day. Therefore, we are on the opposition side. I am here. No, thank you, Mr. Speaker. The ball is round, but the odds are not. That's what we, uh, okay. That's what we said on Team Proposition in all of our, all our three speeches. And I started my first speech by telling you that I would really like to settle this debate in the real world. Team Opposition instead chosen, has chosen the, the different world, the, that pink and fluffy world in which just some athletes get steroids, in, in which the bad guys are caught and they are punished. That's not the real world. And I'm going to address this debate 
by asking two important questions. Is it ethical? And secondly, does it have a, a positive effect on everything? Now, firstly, we say that it is ethical because sports was never equal. As we've stated in all our speeches, there are other things, enhancements, mechanical ones, nutrition ones, and other things that make different sports, uh, different sportsmen better. As I've stated, the USA sportsmen could not be compared with the one from the middle of Africa or other countries which do not have the same conditions of training. Nutrition is extremely important. The guys from Sky, three times better just because of nutrition. That's why we say that sport was never equal. But for in the moment in which we, pro we say those drugs are legal, it's the moment in which you can make Thing, things equal. Because if I want to be the equal of that guy, I could just take the drugs. If I don't want to, I won't. That's my choice and that's exactly on what we stand on team proposition. The fact that we, should, that we should always have the right to choose in the moment in which the things that we choose are not damaging. And they are not damaging because the state has approved them. The state promotes them in solving problems like diseases, like the flu, like, like in the example of paracetamol. We say that this is the way in which e equality is promoted. In the moment in which me, as a non-sportsman, can take a pill, but that sportsman could, can not take it, that's a real problem in the society and it is a problem that we're addressing and we're solving with our model. We say also that the most important sportsmen take drugs. Usain Bolt does it, Asafa Powell does it, Lance Armstrong does it, some are caught, some are not, but an overwhelmingly majority take these drugs. And what we say is that, okay, the top guys will remain top guys, but the middle guys will become also top guys and this will make sports as a whole better. That's why we believe that it is ethical because because sports has become an industry and we should promote freedom of choice in this industry. Now, talking about this positive effect, as I stated before, viewers want the best. I only watch Champions League matches because they're nice, because I see Cristiano Ronaldo playing well with his awesome boots. But what I'm saying is that we want performance. What, we, what we're saying is that in the moment in which these kinds of drugs are legalized, performance will be per se uh, enhanced. Performance being enhanced, we have economical advantages. Why? Because more money comes to us, because therefore more money goes into to the taxes, therefore we have more money to the society, therefore more money for your regular Joe, which is a positive thing. So, on the level of, of the ordinary man, we have financial positive effects and also the fact that you can have the entertainment that you want. Secondly, we see that sportsmen are not unequal anymore and this is an extremely important advantage that I've developed before. On a third level, the sports might, be might benefit because in the moment in which kids look at the sportsmen and see that they're better and better, that's the moment in which the kids want to become better and better and that's the moment in which the sport as a whole becomes better and better. That's why Mr. Speaker, at the end of the day, on this side of the house, we say that we have an ethical choice because it is natural, because the state permits it, because it promotes freedom of choice, and because it's not harmful. And also, we have advantages for the viewers, for us, economical advantages, and we promote sports and entertainment. For all these reasons, I beg you to propose.